getting components lighter is often good for the planet because it saves energy. And this is exactly the core of PMC, where I'm at right now at the booth with Frank. Good you morning. You are the CEO of PMC. Thanks a lot for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Frank, uh, why are you an exhibitor at the Green Tech Festival? Well, cutting a long story very short, it's about innovation and it's about changing our lives throughout technology. And we feel we do have the right portfolio and the right frame to set our lightweight products into the into scene. You were talking about your product portfolio, right? What do you present at the Green Tech Festival? Well, basically what we do is uh, we are specialized in lightweight components for the railroad industry as well for the mobility industry. So taking an example, We, will be, uh, we are the selected supplier for all the seats for the Berlin transport uh, suburb for the, for the undergrounds. And with our parts, we save a lot of uh, CO2 emissions due to weight reduction, as um, weight gives you always, uh, uh, consumes always energy. Less weight means less energy, less energy means less carbon dioxide. Of course, you were talking about the underground here in Berlin. What other industries are you tackling? Um, basically in aviation, in medical tech, uh, technologies, uh, so we have a, we're very widely spread um, from, from adhesive technologies to fiber composites. And you were talking about saving energy but to solving our climate crisis. Well, if we do a lightweight design, uh, We all want to be mob, mob, mobile. We want to travel to somewhere to, to a vacation. We do, would like to do business trips. If we get trains and cars lighter, we lose, uh, we lose simply the need for energy and uh, burning fuels. Yeah, of course. How important is um, the sustainable aspect in your production? Say again, sorry. How important is um, the sustainable aspect yeah. in your production in general? It's very, it's very uh, important. What we do is we look as well into our internal processes as well as into the materials mm -hmm. that we use. Taking fibers for an example, we have the whole variety of carbon fibers as well down to natural fibers with natural polymers, which basically take the strengths from one fiber to the other and allows us to build lightweight components. Okay, and what were your efforts in reducing your energy consumptions? Um, very simple, we, we do, uh, take a dual approach. First of all, we measure very, very close our en energy consumption on a weekly basis in our manufacturing. Secondly, we compare this to what our competitors and other people do in the industry. Mm -hmm. And giving you an example, we have some certain key elements in our process where our competitors use 200 kilowatts per hour and we can do the same with 8 to 10 kilowatts uh, of energy. So this is only 5% of what the, the branch standard is. Is there a dream of a product you want to replace with your lightweight products? Yes, there are. Which one? Um, to start with two of them. I yeah. just start with two of them. Number one already got fulfilled as we will build the new seats for a large underground network. Um, I'd like to expand this into lining, into exterior components. And the second dream that I really have is building a lightweight drone that helps people in, in um, catastrophic uh, areas where you had a tsunami or whatever to be uh, uh, supplied with goods, with rice, with water and so forth. So, again, so this is uh, basically my look out for the next five years to build uh, a part like this. So not only a sustainable aspect, also a social aspect, right? Yes. Is that core of your company as well? Yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's a kind of. It's basically as I'm the CEO of the company, it has to be, yeah. unfortunately, but uh, it is because I think we do have a responsibility. We are we are all neighbors, no matter where we are from, and we need need to take a look at each other simply to change this world. We have to change. Neighbors is the perfect word for what we see at the Green Tech Festival as well. Did you get to know them and what are you looking for at the Green Tech Festival? Um, I, had a, I just had a short, quick tour around yeah. today because I've been very busy here. Obviously. Um, but, but what I'm looking for is we'd like to expand. 
So I'm looking into contacts, starting from the supply chain as well as to customers, as to uh, financial funding uh, opportunities. So we're open for any discussions because we believe we can't do this all on our own. We need to link up, we need to build up a network and build it like a fractal uh, uh, corporation to see what everybody can bring best to the table. And what gives you hope for the future that we can tackle all the challenges we are facing? I think there are many, many uh, uh, springs of inspiration in the moment. There's a lot going on. We're, we're living in a, in a changing time where industries look into more sustainable, more technology proven uh, 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 components that helps us basically to support our lifestyle. And We need to do this, we want to do this, we're ready for it, so we'll go with it. You are definitely ready for it. Thanks a lot for Thank joining us at the Green Tech Festival. We wish you all the best. Thank you very much.